This is Janice from Measuring to Fit. I help uh, beginners in their sewing journey. So I love to uh, take all the puzzle, or not all perhaps, but, but most of the puzzle out of the uh, sewing journey when you are starting off uh, in your sewing journey. So one of the things that is uh, that could be puzzling uh, to beginners is the different presser foot that you have in your sewing machine, right? So in your sewing machine, there are different different presser foot. So every sewing machine will come with uh, what we'll call a universal uh, presser foot. And for the Juki 29Z, the Juki 29Z, the, their universal sewing uh, presser foot is this presser foot. And one of the features that I like very much about their, this universal presser foot that they have that comes with your machine is that it has, if you can see, this part is transparent. That means it will be easier for you to see where you are sewing. Yeah? And the other feature about this foot that, is, um, that I find helpful is there is this knob which helps in terms of when you are sewing thick fabric. So it helps you to adjust your foot so that it, it levels it out when you are having thick fabric to sew like jeans. Right, so that's uh, that's why I find this very unique about uh, the uh, Juki machine, and this is the part that is uh, uh, that is that that comes already with the machine, right? So I thought this is uh, it's good to highlight to you. So some other machines that I have, their universal presser foot looks like this. Right, so different machine will come with different you. Uh, different presser foot. So in your machine, normally there are a few common presser foot that will already come with your machine. One of them should be a zipper foot. Um, okay, this is a zipper foot that helps you when you are sewing the exposed zip, right? And you will also have, most likely to have, a buttonhole foot. Different machine, different type because the this Juki uh, that I have here is a four step buttonhole system. So their buttonhole foot is the simplest one. So for your machine, you will you should have. If you don't have, please check uh, with your uh, sewing machine supplier as to where is the buttonhole foot because this will come with the sewing machine, right? So these are the common things. The other thing that I just want to highlight. Now, if you happen to have a universal foot like this, right, and you don't have, your machine doesn't come with the, like the Juki one, the transparent part, it is, what I will say is that it will be helpful if you get this open toe foot. This is called an open toe foot or a satin stitch foot where it's open here right so when it open it's also easy for you to see when you are sewing so this is one of the foot that normally would not come with your sewing machine if it comes with your sewing machine i think it is a bonus at least for malaysia because our machine are very uh, uh economically priced right so uh so to help people be able to get into sewing so their foot the presser foot that comes with the machine normally is the universal foot, the zipper foot, and the buttonhole foot. These are the three most common uh, foot that you will have, right? And this one normally doesn't come with your sewing machine. So you can get it outside if you want, right? So the others, uh, the other foot that I will talk about in another video because uh, I, I don't want to make this video too long is... I find a very helpful uh, a foot is this, what we call a walking foot. Very few machines or at least the beginner level sewing machine don't usually come with a zipper, uh, oh, sorry, a walking foot. This is a, a walking foot because this, when it is original from your uh, mach, um, sewing machine brand, it is normally, uh, it costs in Malaysian ringgit, 100 over ringgit, the original one. 
right so normally it would not come with the sewing machine but if you buy the high-end sewing machine the top of the range there is a likelihood that you will have a uh, walking foot to go with it so you can check when you're buying sewing machine right to see whether they supply this this uh, foot what we call the walking foot and in another video a dedicated video I will have I will talk about why and how to install this walking foot why do you need a walking foot why is it so good I love to use the walking foot in fact um, I have a number of sewing machines now nah, because I sew quite a bit so one of my sewing machine is fitted with a walking foot permanent I mean I it's fitted there and I don't take it out so often nah, because that machine I want to use the walking foot to manage a certain fabric that is difficult to manage so the walking foot help you with di difficult to manage fabric slippery fabric fabric that moves a lot on you and uh, that is what I use the walking foot for so there are two uh, presser foot that I would recommend that you if, if your machine doesn't have it you might want to check with your uh, sewing machine supplier whether they have it and you can buy it of them one is the satin foot or the open toe foot right uh, and one of it the other one is a walking foot and in my my six part beginners course uh, I will have one part that shows you how to use the walking foot right uh, uh, incidentally my course also has uh, my part three the part three of my six part course I show you how to use the buttonhole foot as well as the zipper foot and you will be able to make projects using these two foot one is a zip uh, a zipper foot to make a zipper pouch and then a buttonhole foot where we will make holes uh, in your shorts to put in the drawstring for your uh, pants okay or shorts right so that is part of my course in the course that uh, uh, I, I, I prepare for beginners okay